Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to everyone. So today we would like to learn about uneven cash flow. As we know, it is a part of the component for time value of money whereby the value will be repetition with different amount. So when you found a question with a different value or different amount, it will be categorized under uneven cash flow. So for uneven cash flow, we can be divided into two, which is future value and also for present value. Okay, so let we move to the example of the question. For example, we try to move for the first example. We are using for future value, okay, for future value uneven cash flow. So this example of the question, which is the amount of the question will be repeat every year but different value for example 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 so mean that here is a kind of repetition but different value so automatically it will be belong to uneven cash flow for future value for example calculate this uneven cash flow for future value so given example is 10%. For example, we are given 10%. So next step, what you need to do is you need to create a table that consists of these four items, which is year, okay, cash flow, right? FV, alright, 10%, and also total. So before you need to refer table FVIF. So first of all, you list out the information which is based on the question Year 1, Year 2, Year 3, Year 4, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, and also 40,000 Before you able to refer from the table, for future value, you need to apply one formula that we consider is n minus t before you refer from the table okay you need to do a formula which is n minus t and will be referred to total year okay t will be referred to current year right so for example if you want to look at the year one so you need to do is you take four which is four Years 1, 2, 3, 4 mean that the total year is 4 Minus we want to look at for the first one Which is year 1 4 minus 1 mean that You will be referred from the table FVIF Okay, you will be referred from the table FVIF 3 Okay, FVIF 10% 3 Refer from the table FVIF 10% Period of 3 Okay, period of 3 So, FVIF 10% Period of 3 Is equal to 1.3310 Okay, 1.3310 Okay And then For the second years You need to do is 4 minus 2 So, mean that You need to refer from the table FVIF 10% period of 2 because 4 minus 2. Okay, so 10% okay, 2 is equal to 1.2100. And then for the third year, 4 minus 3, so mean that eligible year is only 1. Okay, so 10%. Okay, FVIF 10% year 1. Okay, or one year is equal to 1.100 Okay, and then Okay, you take 4 minus 4 Mean that 0 So, remember For year For the last year We just put our money here So, we took the value 1.00 Just for the last year you put the value 1.00 right? Okay, so we try to calculate for the first one 10,000 times 1.3310 Is equal to 
K thirteen three hundred and ten. Okay, so we move to year two. Okay, we. Okay, so now for year two, you take twenty thousand time one point two one. So it's equal to twenty four two hundred. Okay, twenty four two hundred. Then for year three, thirty thousand time one point one. Okay, thirty thousand equal to thirty three thousand. So this one will be forty thousand, and then you just total up here, right? So you take uh thirteen thousand three hundred three thousand one plus twenty four thousand two hundred. Okay. Plus. Forty thousand, so the total would be one hundred ten, five hundred and ten. So this is the way how to calculate for uneven cash flow for future value. So we use the same example. Okay, we try to use the same example here, but this time we try to calculate for present value. Okay, so this time we try to calculate for present value. Alright, so let me try to do it for present value. Okay, so it will be consist of year. Okay, cash flow. But this time we are using present value or PV. Okay, and total. So first of all, just list out the years. One, two, three, four. CF, we are taking from the information before. Okay, ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, forty thousand. It depend on the question. Okay, so now different from future value for present value, we just refer from the table P V I F year one, year two, year three, year four. You don't have to do like a future value. So we just refer from table P V I F. Make sure you choose a correct table, which is a consists of the P V I F. So this is example of the table P V I F. Make sure you are choosing a table of P V I F. So P V I F ten percent year one is equal to zero point nine zero nine one. So this one year two zero point eight two six four and then zero point Seven five one three year four zero point six eight three zero. All right, and then you just time with the value. Okay, ten thousand times zero point nine zero nine one is equal to nine thousand ninety one. Second, twenty thousand times zero point eight two six four is equal to sixteen. Five hundred and twenty-eight. Move to the third year. Thirty thousand times zero point seven five one three is equal to twenty-two five hundred thirty-nine. And this one forty thousand times zero point six eight three zero is equal to twenty-seven three hundred and twenty. Okay. Then you just total up here. Nine zero nine one plus sixteen five two eight plus twenty two five three nine plus twenty seven three hundred and twenty. So this one will be seventy five four hundred and seventy eight. So this is the way how to calculate uneven cash flow. Okay, uneven cash flow for present value. Okay. Alright, so try to do exercise, refer from the note given and try to apply for this exercise. That's all for today. Thank you everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.